Oh, market is up on the fact Obama is going to spend another half a trillion dollars. Well, this is not a straight chicken. The market is up. Oh, yes, because Obama says, yes, the market's up because he says he's going to spend another half trillion dollars. Was that really news? We're going to read the market slow. Well, for now, we're going to read all kinds of long comments on the headlines of today. Obama wants $300 billion for a new stimulus program for union jobs. Yeah, that's on top of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, money that he wants to spend you know, on infrastructure, the money he wants to spend on giving the working man a tax break. And, and, but don't worry, he is going to offset it with tax on millionaires and billionaires and business. Which oh, really? He's just going to go. He wants to raise taxes so he can spend more money that creates no private sector jobs. And the market's roaring on Obama. Massive spending news and that the court allows German government to spend the country into ruin. I know. They're basically, they said uh, this morning that uh, people in Europe were dancing on the table something like Obama does when he finds out he can spend money. The problem is, is that Germany is on the verge of being broke. And now they're going to allow, the, the German banks have said Merkel can spend as much money as she wants and no one can tell her she can't. They, they did say the only way you can stop Merkel spending is to remove her from office, which they're going to do, folks. Which is what they would probably say about Obama, too. Yeah. And the Tea Party right blast uh, Teamster President Hoffa's remarks with Bachman fundraisers. Yeah, okay. The problem comes is that there, uh, there is no law currently on the books about threatening members of Congress. There used to be that took it off the books. But the funny part about all of the, in the last year, the Democrats have brought up one bill after another about threatening members of Congress. And the date, and now this, we're conveniently forgetting that wasn't a threat. It was just a political statement, a different political statement of threat. Not according to all the legislation they've been trying to push, there isn't. Mm. And Obama's ratings sink to new lows. Yeah, but don't worry. His job program is going to boost his ratings. Only among, okay, the only people, I mean, I heard this this morning. This is the most asinine thing. Well, so what if it's jobs to unions? The unions get paid. They go spend their money. They create private sector jobs. And everybody benefits because of unions. Uh, well, they're not going to get the money because it's nothing but union bailouts. They're not. They're helpful hands to union workers in order to boost the economy. Well, wait a minute. The union bailouts are just going to the pension plans. That's where it's all going to end up. Right? So, yeah, which in the pension plans can help re-elect somebody that's or right, to elect Obama. Them. It's all about re-election of Obama. The Republicans don't dare stand up to him. They said that the market is basically up on the fact that he stood up to the Republicans on spending. They said, this is not the time to stop spending, even though the, even though 75% of the people say stop spending. He said he can't get reelected on spending. It's an impossibility. And Obama says the GOP must back the U.S. first and create jobs. Well, I mean, they must support him. They're, I mean, I, 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 last night... I heard uh, one of the people correcting the people on the panel. No, the President of the United States said the Republicans must join his idea of how they are. He will not support their ideas, but everything he's doing does have bipartisan support. Yeah, well, it means he has Olympia Snow, uh, Susan Collins, and Scott Brown, who will vote to spend money at the drop of a hat. Oh, that's bipartisanship. <coughs> yeah. And GOP candidates in South Carolina vow to carry the Tea Party banner. Well, yeah, because they're trying to point, the Tea Party is now dead because they're a Nazi racist organization and they want to destroy our country. Uh, they, they, uh, 75% of the people say stop spending. And that's what they're running for. Stop spending. They, 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 they do it this way. The Wall Street Journal and Fox Business carries the, you know, the water for Barack Obama. You have to, because you can't stop spending now, it will hurt the market. you got to keep spending. The market only rises when Obama's going to spend money. And, and, and then we'll worry about how to pay it after, you know, the economy's better. Well, the economy's not going to get better because they won't stop spending. And Obama orders the GOP to support. His spending plans are beyond American. Yeah, that was actually not again this morning. Isn't that a brilliant one? Americans will support our country. Tea Party members and Republicans won't. Doesn't that say they're not, uh, not American? And Lee's remnants spawn Georgia twisters and drown a Mississippi man. Oh, I mean, you can't
folks. I mean, you don't go playing in the water and you know, all kind of mud. And I mean, nobody is covering the mud that crosses the south. Only the mud. Wow, I think that one came low. <laughs> As you probably heard. <laughs> And Obama's teaching the Republicans a lesson as how they run elections in Chicago. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they're basically, Obama is taking the gloves off and threatening everybody. They'll be threatening family members soon. And will the Republicans do anything? No, the Republicans are a bunch of gutless wimps. I mean, like, like I said, you're more likely to see uh, Rick Perry and uh, uh, Rick Perry, Michelle Baldwin, and, uh, and Ron Paul and Romney in a gay pride event in the tutus than you are from seeing one of them actually stand up to Obama. Mm. In August, auto sales defy consumer caution until they were revised downward. Yeah, they didn't quite sell as many cars as they originally said they did. The cars that tended to be sold were all new, all government rental stocks. Was that supposed to be a surprise? Well, no. Anybody that believes that anything the Obama administration is saying. That's where you have a surprise. Actually, 19% of the people think the economy has recovered and the Republicans are trying to destroy that. And Obama vows federal help for Irene victims. Yeah, if you happen to live in an area where they voted for him, they've already pulled out. The National Guard is pulling out of areas of which have no political value. And stars to pull content from Netflix as talks fail. Well, you know, well because uh, Netflix basically... What happened was Netflix raised the rate, right, raised their rates, and Netflix has been going steadily backwards, which means it, it put Blockbuster and um, you know back in a position of strength again. You know, right after they had an IPO, well, we're going to raise rates by 160 percent to help the business. Mm -hmm. And Iran plans the first <laughs> nuclear power plant into the grid. Yeah, and it, it's only going to supply power for the people. Of course, it's a plutonium creating plant. You don't need a plutonium creating and City poaches Deutsches Murphy in Asia, prime bo broking push. Yeah, I, I don't know anymore. Sometimes I feel like I'm really getting old with all this stupid bad news. And AT&T prepares a two-track plan to save the T-Mobile deal. Yeah, they're going to let it string out until after Obama's not president and it's going to get approved. Oh, is that what they're doing? That's well, actually, that's kind of smart, but part of it is who says Obama's not going to be president anymore? Well, no, I, I keep telling people, which I'm going to get through their thick heads, there is nothing in the Constitution that calls for the removal of a setting president that didn't get reelected. Only Congress can remove him from office, and if the, the Democrats take control of the Senate, they're not going to remove him. They're going to say there were voter irregularities, and it was, uh, it was basically there was a racist vote with many irregularities, so they'll stall it in the court system for at least two to three years. And slumping confidence likely curbed August hiring. Oh, not according to Obama. Uh, they're, they're basically have jobs at record rates available now. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, the record rates. I mean, they're not in, not in, not since Ronald Reagan have they seen as many jobs being posted for people to be hired. Of course, they did with the Bible. That doesn't mean that anybody will be hired. It just means that they're putting they're, they're putting a thing out there saying that they they would like to hire people, but not necessarily really actually hire them because it doesn't take a lot of money for Obama businesses. Well, we would like to hire people. Yeah, but well, we can't because the banks aren't loaning any money. Mm -hmm. And U.S. airport full body scanners too unreliable to use, Germany says. You know, isn't that something with scanners that Obama, that which are a violation of the law. You see, what it is is those countries have legal rights for their people and the scanners violate all their rights, which is why they're not using them. Yeah, which is why we get complaints. And White House officials were told about the existence of a gun trafficking investigation in Arizona. Well, that's why they pulled the investigation out of Arizona and got to bring it back to Washington, D.C., where the White House now can control everything. Isn't that a good one, folks? Mm hmm And the Tea Party is racist, anti-science Nazis. I know. Uh, that's what they're calling it. They said it really works well with the two channel election. Because the, uh, the Tea Party is composed mostly of independents, not Republicans. Oh, the people that want you to stop spending money. They don't care about social issues. They want you to stop spending money. That's not a social issue. Yeah, when was that? <laughs>
When was that a social issue? Anim Animonte bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. It, it, it's a total and absolute fabrication. Yeah, you, know, you know, it's a faction. You know, do old people get as tired as young people? Oh, absolutely they get as tired as young people. They just think it's all in the 